prophets of the always belief house. Oh, now we're going to do your direct variation lesson one homework. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not going to do all these because I don't want to eat all your Oreo cookies, okay? So let's get rocking and rolling, and a magical whiteboard appears, and we're going to do these homework problems. Okay, on number one, remember this from junior high. A line must go through the origin to be have direct variation or be proportional. Only one of those works. I'm not going to tell you which one. Go to number two. On number two, the equation must be in the form y equal kx. Okay, it must be in the form y equal kx. There is one, two, three of them that work. So on that one there, three of those equations can be written as y equal kx. The others cannot. Number three. On number three, to figure this out, remember, if the table has zero, zero, ding, 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 it has direct variation because it goes to the origin. If the table doesn't have that, then you have to do y over x. Keep dividing by y over x. If those are the same, then it has direct variation, doesn't it? There are one, two, three, four of them that have direct variation. So four of those tables have direct variation. I'm not going to tell you which ones. Keep going down. On these problems, on word problems, remember you could do y equals gx plus s with a word problem. If it does not have a starting number, it has direct variation. For instance, I'm going to do two of them. Sarah, Sasha charges 15 hours for babysitting. Does she, start, does she charge an initial fee? She does not have a starting number, does she? So the equation would just be y equals 15x, would it? And check, it would have direct variation, would it? This would be yes. On the second problem, the temperature outside was 56 degrees this morning. It is now dropping at a rate of 5 degrees per hour. This would be your starting number. This would be the growing number, would it? This equation would be y equal, the temperature's not going up, it's going down, so negative 5x plus 56, right? This has a starting number, so it is not direct variation. I'm going to let you finish the last two on your own. Just remember that gx plus s is an easy way to generate your equation. Now then on this one right here, to generate your y over x, to generate your direct, you're going to write down y equals kx, and remember the k is going to be y over x. It's pretty simple stuff right here. So on this one, put a dot right here. That ordered pair would be 2 comma 1, wouldn't it? Agree? This is my x, this is my y. So if I put y over x, what would I have? I would have 1 over 2, wouldn't I? That would be my k. And I'm not going to fill the rest of it in. See if you can do the rest two on your own. This is pretty simple stuff. This is the intro into direct variation. It. And notice we did not set a proportion up on this, but you can do these with proportions. But we're going to solve them with y equal kx. Have a super, super day. Remember, you are amazing. You are created to do wonderful things. Never stop believing in yourself. And you are awesome.